Okay, today I want to talk a little bit about fusion canning. Um, and you ask, fusion canning, but isn't that like a really old idea? Uh, well, back when single stackers were romanticized, um, yeah, um, people made a big deal about shooting the sand and TNT together. This is before TNT alignment. This is before hammers. This is like three years ago, two years ago when dispensers were first a thing. Um, so it was like a big deal for no reason. I'll actually link a description or a video that Wise and Funfox did on a power or a cannon with a lot of main power. That's all it took to fusion cannon because just like with the lane cannon, you shot everything into a guider. But this is different. I've been going on and on and on and on and on about um, the order of entities. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this here. I had an idea and it works. And then I'm going to talk about problems with this and how you could use it. Um, so this is the 255 nuke stacker thing. Um, what I've done though is I've changed the sand. Uh, just again, proof of concept cannon. You're never going to want to actually use this. So it's really close. I'm, it might be wrong. I haven't touched this in like a week. And I'm going to use the timings off the nuke. So I disconnected the hammer and slab bust. So I want you to look. You can see here I have one by ones. And I have like a wall there. And that's empty. So. If you see here, there is a flat guider. So you ask, it's going to shoot through it, so it's going to fusion cannon, but it's not going to do anything. False. It's going to stack because the order of entities, the sand is rendering before the hammer. And I really hope this works. Okay, so all that fell, and now the TNT dispenses. Oh, fuck. I hate this. Of course you don't fucking see it. Damn it. Sorry. Okay, let me do it again. Blah, 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 blah. But it stacked. You can you could see it. It stacked right there. Um, I'll do it again. I won't spam X-ray. Blah blah blah. Come on, come on. See, 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 see. Bam. But okay, the guy here. Hello, it's flat. So yeah, I've just talked about this a whole lot. You have all the sand falling for or. I'm going to retract what I just said. Every cannon probably needs to have something that order needs to be different for specific things. For example, with a left shooter, um, you want the sand to go off before the left shooter ticks off. Because if you don't, you're going to have a really weird split thing. With a nuke, you want the sand to tick off or fall, however you want to analyze it. All the sand needs to be in a falling state before the nuke goes off, before, or excuse me, before the nuke goes off, but after the hammer dispenses. So however you got to do that, you got to do that. With this, you want the sand to render before the hammer, which means if you can imagine like when Minecraft updates things, the sand is going to fall and then it's going to explode, but it's going to stack. So as you saw here, the issue with this is there's a lot of time because the sand has to take off after this and then this have to has to take off after. So it's going to take a long time to fall. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but I mean, this is stacking a decent amount, 237 sand. Yeah. So cool. Let me get to the next thing now. So I am not going to go ahead and fire this because this is on single player. Um, bad things will happen. And it is on my test server, but I don't want to fire it. Basically, it's two sand compressions. This is actually a four by seven. So what you actually could do is just take the one I made and move it over by one halfway in the middle and then stack the middle part to the left. It'll work perfectly fine. Um, something I've totally forgot because I'm a dumbass is those are going to break if something pushes. So this is a stupid way of wiring it. So sorry. My bad. I'm an idiot. I don't play Minecraft full time, believe it or not. Um, so I made a mistake there. But I'm fusion to made this. I told him, hey, I think this can happen. Let me show you. I showed him on my test server. Um, and he's like, wow, that's really cool. So he took, uh, I think, a 240 stack or something of mine. Um, yeah, and he made it bigger. It needs a little more power for whatever reason. Um, but basically, the reason why there's two sand compressions that are a little bit bigger than the other one is so that you have less time between the hammer ticking off, or excuse me, the main power ticking off and the hammer ticking off, which means theoretically you would be able to stack higher, uh, which it does. So, I mean, it just makes sense. But again, the issue is you're going to have a big amount of time between the main power and the hammer because you have the sand in there. And by big time, I mean anything from one tick to 100 million ticks. And you want to minimize that. But it's going to be very hard because you have to have a certain uh, number of layers of sand falling. Um, and this is with a left shooter, which I'll bring up that next part in a bit. 
So talking with Bad Login and Trent, they're almost the same person, but they're not. Um, Bad Login's idea was to figure out a way to reduce the amount of time between the hammer and the main power. And so what he did was he made a four by uh, 12 sand compression. So that's however many that is, 48. Uh, which means you need, um, for 255, I think you need 5.9 tall, whatever. It's just one large one, which is which is cool, whatever. Um, okay, on a lot of servers now, you have it, so signs, block, TNT, and sand, which is why this is here, in case something weird were to happen, because what's happening is this reverse compression here. This is going, 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 it's going to explode here, it's going to shoot here, and then it's going to shoot there, and back out into the cannon, and it works quite well. Uh, I think he's working on it upwards, which would make things easier, because order and entities with all that is very cool it works cool um let's see and i'm gonna get to the next part oh god here's the horrific monstrosity new left slab 12r it is like 18 months old and still works quite well so this is a left shooter that was the main purpose behind it purpose behind it and the biggest thing with left shooting conventional left shooting which i'm about to dis uh, make a comparison or make the distinction between classical i don't know is whatever there's a barrel difference because with the barrel difference and two or three dispensers going off before a larger dispenser burst everything is going to go left and relatively horizontal but there's going to be a splitting and that means you cannot infinitely left shoot ideally with uh, any sort of barrel difference because at some point it's going to drift there are differing slopes in opposite directions that is a problem and i mean literally you can tell it's not going to work right but what you can do now with the order indexing, and it's possible AJ and V's left shooter, which I have it on the server. I don't use it. I don't like it. It is very cool, but it's I don't like using it, and that's why not very many people use that uh, setup for left shooting. I think it actually might infinitely left shoot because of the order of how entities are rendered, but I'm not 100% positive because uh, his thing did some his can did weird things. Okay, I need to stop talking. I need to cut this short. With an infinite left shooter you would use the order uh, index orders you would have um you need the main power to go off first i think that's an absolute given if you have the sand before that it won't work right for full stacking at all anyways um so main power then you want the left shooter to go off then you have the sand then you have the hammer and i'm pretty sure then you just have no barrel difference so you get rid of this um you have this go off whenever uh, before the sand and um i think it'll go infinitely left ideally i know trent's working on it i'm fusions it works. I haven't seen it, but I know it works. And um, I know in theory it would work, which is how all this is possible. So yeah, um, cool. Uh, that's all I got, I think. That's, yeah. I'll see how short this is. I'll leave this at the end so you can get my struggle here. Oh my god, what the fuck. 